All right, so MediaTek is cooking up something new again, and this one's got people talking. There's a new chip coming, supposedly called the Dimensity 9500E, but the name isn't even confirmed yet. Some leaks are even calling it the Dimensity 9400++, which already sounds kind of weird, right? Like, are we getting a new chip or just an upgraded version of the old one? So here's what's going on. According to a reliable leaker named Digital Chat Station, this upcoming MediaTek chip is basically based on the Dimensity 9400 Plus, which was already a flagship chip earlier this year. But here's the twist. This one might not be a full-on flagship. It's likely going to be a sub-flagship chip. Now, that sounds a bit confusing because the specs don't really scream mid-range at all. Leaks say the chip can go up to 3.73 GHz, which is really fast. It's using a CPU setup of one Cortex-X925, three Cortex-X4 cores, and four Cortex-A720 cores. And if that sounds too technical, here's the simple version. This chip's got a beastly main core for performance, three more for heavy multitasking, and four efficient ones for battery life. Basically, it's built to be powerful, but balanced. Then there's the GPU, the graphics part of the chip. It's called the G925MP12, and it's clocked at 1612 megahertz. That means games, visuals, and animations should look super smooth. So yeah, this chip isn't playing around. What's even crazier is that it's made using TSMC's 3 nanometer n 3 e process, which is the newest and most efficient chip-making technology right now. Smaller transistors mean less heat, more speed, and better battery life. So on paper, this thing looks like a total monster. But here's the strange part. The CPU, GPU, and even the cache are almost exactly the same as the Dimensity 9400 Plus. So what's the difference? Why make a new chip that's basically the same as the old one? That's what everyone's wondering. My guess? MediaTek probably wants to take the 9400 Plus and rebrand it slightly to fit into a new phone lineup. Maybe this 9500E or 9400 Plus Plus version will be used in premium phones that aren't quite as expensive as the Ultra flagships, sort of like what Qualcomm does. They have the Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 Elite for the absolute best phones, and then a non-elite version that's still super strong, but more affordable. And that makes sense, because Digital Chat Station also said that the first phones using this chip will still have big batteries, premium displays, and solid overall hardware. So we're not talking about budget phones here. These are still going to feel premium, just slightly cheaper than the top tier flagships. As for timing, it looks like this chip, whether it ends up being called Dimensity 9500E or 9400++, will be launching sometime around Q1 2026. That's early next year. Meanwhile, Qualcomm is expected to show off its Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 later this year. So yeah, 2026 is already shaping up to be another battle year between Qualcomm and MediaTek. And honestly, MediaTek's been catching up fast. The Dimensity 9300 series was already a massive step forward, and if this 9500E keeps that same flagship level performance, but costs less, it could make a lot of upcoming phones way more appealing. But there's still one big question. If the 9500E is almost the same as the 9400 Plus, what's MediaTek's actual plan? Are they holding back the real next-gen chip for later, or is this just a smart way to repurpose their 3 nanometer tech for more devices? Either way, I'm really curious to see how this plays out, because if phones in 2026 start coming out with 9400++ or 9500E chips, larger batteries, and high-end displays, but at a lower price, that could shake things up a lot in the Android world. So yeah, the takeaway here is simple. MediaTek's next chip might not be fully new, but it's definitely powerful. And if it can deliver flagship level performance without flagship prices, then Qualcomm might have some serious competition again next year. What do you guys think? Should MediaTek just go all in and drop a totally new chip? Or is it smart to tweak and reuse an already strong one like the 9400 Plus?